Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our direct fit radiator for the 2003 to 2007 Ford Power Stroke. Now these trucks are starting to get a little old. First thing to go is going to be the radiator. Stock rad is plastic end tanks crimped onto aluminum core. Mishimoto rad, fully TIG welded, all aluminum. This is really going to give you the performance and durability you need out of your truck. Tools needed to install the direct fit radiator for the 2003 to 2007 Ford F 250 R. One inch wrench, 13 millimeter wrench, long handled flathead screwdriver, short flathead screwdriver, pliers, specialty half inch Ford transmission line removal tool, pop clip pliers, quarter drive ratchet, 932nd socket, 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 11 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, pick tool, coolant and a coolant funnel. Installation time is about four hours, and it's gonna be a four out of five on the difficulty level. All right guys, first thing we're gonna to do to kick off the install on this radiator is gonna be to drain the coolant. Okay, next go ahead and remove the nine pop clips that hold the upper shroud to the radiator's port and grill. Next, remove the overflow hose from the radiator. Next, remove the upper radiator hose from the radiator. Next, remove the two 8mm bolts that hold the fan shroud to the radiator. Next, remove the four 8mm bolts that hold the radiator stays to the radiator support. Next, undo the wire harness that goes across the radiator support by removing the three pop clips. Next step, you're going to remove your factory intake box. Uh, this current vehicle is equipped with an aftermarket, so just follow the standard process of how to remove your factory intake box. Next, disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Next step, remove the lower hose from the radiator. Next, removing the transmission lines using the factory Ford tool. Next, remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the upper inner cooler mounts to the radio support. Next, remove the two 8mm bolts that hold the AC condenser stays to the radiator support. Next, remove the four pop clips that hold the ducting flaps onto the radiator support. Next, remove the radiator support beam by removing the eight 13 millimeter bolts. There are four on each side. Once you've removed the eight 13 millimeter bolts, go ahead and remove the upper radiator support. To do this, you're going to push the brace over to one side and then pull up.
Next, loosen the two clamps for the boots that go to the inner core, and then pull the inner core forward to give you room for pulling the radiator out. Now that we have the stock rat out, we're going to go ahead and remove the two lower quick disconnect fittings and reinstall them onto the Mishimoto radiator. You can remove these using a one inch wrench. Now that you have the fittings out, we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of Teflon tape and wrap the threads on these fittings before we thread them back into the Mishimoto radiator. Once you've transferred everything over, go ahead and place the Mishimoto rad in the engine bay. Okay, next, reinstall the inner cooler. Next, reconnect the inner cooler couplers to the inner cooler. Next, reinstall the radiator support. Once you have the rad support placed back into the upper frame, go ahead and start loosely installing the eight 13 millimeter bolts. You'll see some wear marks from where the bolts have been and uh, where there's no spray paint underneath. So you're just gonna want to when you get the bolts in loosely, move the radiator support around until all the bolts line up. Next, reinstall the AC condenser brackets. Next, reinstall the four pop clips that hold the rubber gaskets to the radio support. Next, move the wire harness back in front of the radiator and clip it down. Once you have the wire harness back in place, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the radiator stays. Next, reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the inner core to the radiator support.
Next, we install the two 8mm bolts that hold the upper part of the fan shroud to the radiator. Reinstall the overflow hose. Next, reinstall the upper radiator hose. Next, reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Next, reinstall your intake box. Next, reinstall the upper shroud. Next, reconnect the transmission lines. Next, install the lower silicone hose to the radiator. All right guys, now it's time to refill this up with coolant. Remember, use a 50-50 mix of coolant and water. For more cooling power, we recommend you add liquid chill to your cooling system. Now, being that these trucks have such a large capacity, we're gonna recommend you add two bottles. All right, now that we have the cooling system all filled up, we're gonna go ahead and turn the truck on and put the heat on high. That'll help get some of the air bubbles out of the system. All right, guys, that concludes the install of your Mishimoto radiator. Go out, take it for a spin, and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.